Hello and welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound. Today we are going to be doing the performance modification of the Dodge Charger Hellcat SRT. So we're going to be doing an A plus build and an S build. One of these builds I think is actually viable and the other I don't. Honestly I don't think A plus is that viable but we'll run some races and see what we're doing. Okay. First off, the engine we are using for this build is the 6.4 liter V8 for the parts. Pro induction, super ECU, pro fuel system, pro exhaust, naturally aspirated, the pro nitrous, elite road suspension, super brakes, elite grip tires, elite clutch, the pro six speed gearbox with the elite differential and I have super nitrous grip and super nitrous drift. For the handling, we are looking at 40% grip, which is as high as this bad boy can go. The steering sensitivity all the way up and the downforce all the way up. On this one, I actually have gas or brake tap set for my drift entry because sometimes it's nice to have both with this car. All right, I'm going to go race against some AI players now. Alright, so we're going to run the long climb to see how this performs. I'm not expecting much out of this vehicle. Criterion really just looked at muscle cars and said, You know what? Nobody wants to use these things. Let's not worry about making them good at all. And I really wish they'd make people's position and name and everything else not be right in front of your face when they're right on top of you like that. So this car is very slow off the line as you can see it took me forever to get to this point and I still haven't caught up to second or first even though I'm starting to get there when it gets into the higher gears it's not too bad it's when it's in these lower gears that it's not the greatest and it doesn't handle real well either I really do think criteria needs to go back and work on the muscle cars in this game there's no reason for them to be as bad as they are in most instances rarely is a muscle car good in this game sure you might be able to get some really good top speeds out of most of them but they don't handle at all they don't accelerate they're slow they're big and heavy and unwielding which you know I guess muscle cars are heavy and big and all that good stuff but I never struggle against the AI like I am right now. I don't care what level of AI I'm facing. These are the hardest ones. I usually am able to beat them without a problem. Like, usually there's a bunch of distance right now between me and second place. But in this build, it just isn't good. And this was the best I could come up with with an A-plus build. I had another one that was one mile per hour slower, but its acceleration was worse and it's wow that was some lost frames right there and it's quarter mile was worse it's just it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't as good as this one and this isn't even that good in case you didn't know you could do that in this part of in that part of the race it saves you a little bit i'm Finally starting to put a little distance between me and Harlow, but I honestly don't see this being too viable of an A-plus build. Which is interesting because the quarter mile and the 0-60 to 60 on this are actually better than the Ferrari Testarossa build in A-plus. And the Ferrari Testarossa is a monster. It's also lighter, so I'm wondering if that leads some credence to the theory that weight actually affects the cars in this game and they've just never stated it um anyway i'm gonna go hop over to the s build and we'll see how that one performs which i think it's a little bit better and might actually be viable in s class but i could be wrong on that one okay so now for the uh, uh yeah the s build so the good news is the engine on this one is the same as the a plus build was so it's a 6.4 liter v8 for the parts, we have the Pro Induction, the Elite ECU, the Super Fuel System, the Super Exhaust, the Elite Centrifugal Charger, 
Centrifugal, centrifugal, centrifugal charger. And Pro Nitrous with Elite Road Suspension, Super Brakes, Super Grip Tires, the Elite Clutch, the Pro 6-Speed Gearbox, the Elite Differential. So really, the only thing that was changed was from the Supercharger on over. Everything else stayed the same from the A-plus build. And with this, you will see, oh yeah, the handling. The handling is still 40% grip with the steering sensitivity set to high and the downforce set to high. With this build, you will get 200 miles per hour with a zero to 60 of 2.9 and a quarter mile of 10.5. So I haven't run any races with this car yet, but in just testing it on the roads, it seems like it could be a viable S-Class build. It is not going to be the fastest or best build in the world. There are much better S builds out there. But if you really like this car and want to use it, I think this one makes it viable. So I'm going to go hop into the S-Class race and show you how it does. All right, so here we are on blue collar in S-Class to see if this does any better than it did in A+. Uh, so far off the line, it's not too bad. And I'm already catching and passing a lot of the AI. Wow. That was actually a pretty good way around that corner for once. Usually I end up going into the wall there without trying. Well, who tries to go in the wall, I suppose? But yeah, I, I mean, that was a really good drift around that corner for once. Um, then we're going to go around here. Oops. I didn't mean to drift quite that much, but... It happens. So far, I feel like this is a decent S-Class build. I think in multiplayer, this really could be viable. I do, however, think you're going to lose a lot of races using this. But again, if you really like this car, by all means, it's there. And there's Lyric and a police officer. Oops, I... Didn't mean to use my burst nos there, but it happens. Hey, get away, Lyric. Off-road for my builds is usually never a good thing, because I always build them for grip on roads, and I don't keep them in the middle, because the grip is where you're, it helps you get a lot of the acceleration you don't have the acceleration, then chances are I'm not making that as my build. There's a chance that Lyric could win this race. A chance. Come on, Lyric. Get your little McLaren out my way. So, on this race, it is actually drifting these corners fairly well. That one, it overdrifted slightly. Flying police officers. Get, oh, lordy. There goes the win. That's okay. That was my fault. Like I said, this car, not going to win them all. I just think it's viable if you want to use it. So, obviously, Lyric is going to win this race. I'm going to come in second. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> all right so there's not a whole lot to say about this car i don't know why you would buy it and build it in any class unless you really really like this car as i stated previously criterion has really done a disservice to most of the muscle cars you'd think they would get going up to speed a lot faster than they do they're just so slow in most cases though and if they have any speed to them you just can't handle them they're they're just going to fall right off the road anytime you need to make a, a corner. So that's going to do it for this build. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave some comments, maybe tell me some cars you'd actually want me to see, you'd actually want to see me uh, customize and put into performance. Uh, all right, until next time, we'll see ya.